This is our patient, a 43-year-old male here for pain in the right elbow going on for about three or four months. It kind of started when he banged it into a wooden object. And uh, since then, he's had pain. He's a landscaper and just finds it difficulty basically uh, using it and carrying things with the hand uh, extended or with the wrist extended. <clears throat> and uh, we tried some acupuncture, which did not help much. We're going to try today an ultrasound guided needle fenestration of the common extensor tendon uh, exam. He's still very tender over the lateral epicondyle. May have a little bit of a ganglion cystine of the lateral epicondyle as well. We're going to hopefully better clarify that with the ultrasound. Here we're going to go over a needle fenestration of the common extensor tendon and a post-traumatic ganglion right over the lateral epicondyle, which you can see here. Here we're just rotating the elbow a little bit to get this ganglion in view a little bit better. And now we're starting this needle fenestration of the common extensor tendon, including this ganglion. We're trying to break up the wall to prevent it from recurring. And here we're just zooming in, and now we're starting to do more of a fenestration dedicated at the origin of the common extensor tendon. This is an in-plane approach, and you can see the shaft of the needle during the procedure. Just having to do active pronation supination a little faster. So here you can see a thickened common extensor tendon, and there's some hypoechoic signal proximally near its insertion, and there's a focal area of dark signal consistent with a ganglion. Radial head turning clip. So here's this little ganglion cyst at the origin of the uh, common extensor tendon. And here it's more clear, this ganglion, again at the uh, origin of the common extensor tendon. It's tender though. Yeah. Hope a little post-traumatic type ganglion. Um, yeah. So the question is, should we really focus on the tendon? The tendon doesn't look so bad. Clip again. So here's our axial view where you can see the ganglion again. And this was something that I palpated on exam where I felt a nodule right near the lateral epicondyle, and that's where it was most tender, which led me on to the whole concept of a ganglion. really superficial to the common extensor tendon. I'm doing a tenotomy. I'd rather not inject too much lidocaine in the tendon. I'm heading right for that ganglion, I think. So in this procedure, we really focused on the ganglion. We did do somewhat of a tenotomy as well, just to get to the ganglion. Uh, but we really just tried to break up the wall of this ganglion with the needle, and hopefully that will soften it up and decrease its pain. Again, we're also doing a dedicated fenestration of the tendon as well, as he probably does have some underlying yeah, tendinosis. Can't drain them, it's good just to break them up. Yeah. That's what we're trying to do here. So we're about a month into uh, ultrasound guided uh, fenestration of the common extensor tendon, and uh, we uh, also kind of fenestrated a ganglion right near the lateral epicondyle. Um, and he's overall about 50% better now. Uh, last visit he said he was about 40%, but looking back he thinks it may have only been about 20, 25% better at that time. But slowly continuing to improve, that's kind of the sense I get, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah. If I hit it directly, if I brush on a doorway, really intense, pretty intense pain. And then I'd still notice it if I'm lifting or bending or moving, you know. But you can, you can carry it, out your work much better. Much better. Much better. It made a big improvement, but I can tell whatever it is is still... There's still something there. There's still you. something there. That's what it seems like to you. Okay, but you are steadily getting better. I have been.